Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. In this lesson, we are going to learn about the maps in Go. Let's get started. What is a map? A map is a data structure where you can store elements as a key value pairs. The keys are unique identifiers that are associated with each value inside a map. There are two ways to create and initialize a map in Go, with or without the use of the make function. Let's start with the simple way, without the make function. The syntax is this one, map, open and close parenthesis, the key type, and then the value type. Let's write a real example of a single map with integer keys and string values in this way. Var my first map map the type of the key integer and the type of the value string i've not added any key value yet inside the map now let's write a simple go program to create and initialize different maps and then print them in the console var empty map map int string then i'm going to add a new map not empty map for example equal map of string and string and here i'm going to put the value for example usa as a key and the value is united states of america then EU, European Union, and then UK, United Kingdom. Perfect. Then I'm going to print both the map inside the console. Print a line the empty map is empty map and then fnt dot print a line the not empty map is not empty map. To do a recap, first I create an empty map where the type of the key is an integer and the value is a string. And then I create another map, put as a name not empty map, where the key type is string and the value is string. In this case, I create a map where the key, for example, USA, it's related to the value United States of America, EU, European Union, UK, United Kingdom. And then I print in the console both map. Now let's check them. Let's open the terminal. Go run main.go. Perfect. So in the first line, we can see an empty, an empty map. And in the second line, we can see the map with each key value pairs. Another way to create a map data structure in Go is by using the make function. This function is a built-in function that takes the type of the map as an argument and returns an initialized map. The syntax is the following one. Make, open and close parentheses, and then map, the key type, and then the value type, comma, the capacity. We can even not specify the initial capacity, like this. Then I'm going to modify the previous example by creating a map using the make function. var map of int. So in this case, I'm going to use the make map int string. And I'm going to specify the initial capacity of 5. Then map of string make map type string related to the key and the type of the value is string 
and I'm not going to specify the initial capacity in this case. And then let's print in the console both maps. The first map is map of int and print f fmt dot print ln the second map is map of string. Let's try, open the terminal, go run main.go. Perfect. In this case, we can see both of the maps that are empty because with the make function, I create uh, an empty map. To add a key value pairs to a mapping go, it's very simple. You just need to use the following syntax. The map, like my map, the key equal the value. What's happen if you try to add an existing key to a mapping go? It will override or update the value of the key with a new value. Let's write an example. I'm going to use the previous example with different names. So let's define the first map convert make with make map int string capacity five and then countries make map string string without a capacity and then I'm going to insert a key value pairs in both maps so convert zero I'm going to put like this so for, for each key I'm going to put the string uh, the string convert one equal one convert two equal two then I'm going to print in the console the entire map the convert map is convert and then countries USA I'm going to put the value United States of America countries EU European Union and then countries UK United Kingdom and then finally FMT dot print a line the countries map is countries perfect let's try go run main.go and now we can see both maps so the converted map with the key 0 and the value 0 as a string the key 1 and the string value 1 2 and 2 and then this countries map now I'm going to add an existing key to the countries map and go will update the value so after the line 19 I'm going to type countries of the key U USA that already have inside the map with a new value like for example uh, just America because the key USA is already present go will override the value of the US USA key inside the country maps with the new value America instead of United States of America. Let's check it. Go run main.go. Yes, as we can see, the new value America related to the line 21 instead of the first value United States of America. In the same way that you add a value to a map, you can retrieve a value from a map using a specific key. Remember that if the key does not exist in the map, Go will return the zero value of the map, which is nil. 
However, if the key exists, Go will return the value associated with the key. Let's see with an example. I'm going to use the previous example to retrieve the values associated with the keys to and EU from the maps convert and countries. After the line 21, I'm going to add. And I'm going to create the variable to retrieving the value of the key to inside the convert map and then the variable EU retrieving the value of the key EU inside the countries map. And then I'm going to print in the console both values fmt dot println the value of the key to is to and then fmt dot print a line the value of the key u is u let's try it go run main dot go perfect so the value of the key two is the string two and the value of the key u is european union instead of directly overriding or updating the value of the key that already exists in the map go provides the ability to check if a specific key exists or not you can use either the following syntax value a variable is present and then the map specify the key or underscore then is present my map and key the main difference between the first and the second syntaxes is that the second syntax only returns the result of the check is a boolean value the variable is present is a boolean variable that contains the result of the check let's see with, a, with an example i'm going to modify the previous example i'm going to remove everything starting from the line 24 then i'm going to define the variable to and the variable is present convert to so in this case the variable present return true or false if the the key to is present inside the convert map and the variable to contains the value of the key to so in this case i can write if is present i'm going to just an element with is present to i'm going to print in the console fmt dot print line the value of the key to is and of course the value to else fmt dot print line and here uh, the value of the key to is not present perfect then i'm going to do the same with the eu but in this case i'm going just to use the underscore is present eu countries eu so in this case i'm going to ask go to skip the value eu and just tell me if the key uh, eu is present inside the country countries map so in this case i can do the same if is present eu i'm going to retrieve the value from the countries eu and then i'm going to print in the console fmt dot print a line the value of the key u is of course u else I'm going to just to copy this put it there and change this perfect so let's try it go run main.go 
okay so the value of the key to is 2 and the value of the key EU is European Union let's try with the different keys for example 3 3 and 3 let's check it go run main.go so it said the value of the key 3 is not present instead the value of the key EU is European Union now that you have learned how to add a new key value pair to the map it's time to understand how to remove a key from the map go has a built-in function called delete that's allow you to delete a key this function doesn't return any value and if the key is not present it will not raise any errors let's write an example where we remove a key value pair from a map using the delete function i'm going to modify this example here and i'm going to remove the key to if it's present inside uh, the map convert and also the key country if it's present inside the map country and i'm going also to remove the key eu if it's present inside the country's map okay so if the key to is present inside the convert map i'm going just to remove it delete then convert and then the key I don't need any more this one so I can put something like this and I'm going to do the same for the countries I don't need any more this I can remove this line I can put just delete countries and the key EU perfect let's try go run main.go okay so we removed the key but it's better to also print the updated convert and countries map i'm going just to put these two lines at the end of the file in order to see the maps updated go run main.go yes so in the convert map we don't see anymore the key to and the countries map we don't see anymore the key EU. Last but not least, how to loop a map. In some previous videos, you have learned how to use the range loop. And it's exactly this type of loop that you can use to iterate through a map. Let's look at an example. I'm going to modify the previous example to iterate through the map countries. At the end of this file, instead of printing the countries like this, I'm going to type the for range loop for range countries and here I need to specify so the code and the name variable where the code for me is just a key and the name is the value and then I can go like fmt dot println code and then name perfect so in this case i'm going to iterate through the countries and i'm going to print the key and the value in this way so let's try go run method go perfect so in the in the first line we can see the convert map printed in this way in the second and third we can see the the countries map printed in this custom way where basically we loop inside the country maps and for each key and uh, value the key is the code and the value is the name we decided to print uh, in a custom way just perfect thank you for watching this video subscribe to my channel to be always updated about new video that i will upload and see you in the next video tutorial bye